The Mu civilization came here because of the water. They came here because of the portals of the Pacific Ocean. And they reached this portal through the energetic path that the moon has left in the biggest crater of the planet, which is at the Pacific Ocean. In between that region, the islands of the Pacific were the places where it was better to connect with the oceans and the water. So the purpose was to be a bridge in between heaven and earth, to relate the information from other levels of consciousness to this world through the oceans, which are the blood of the planet. Why was the new civilization created? I am your host and guide, Matias Estefano. In this episode, we will explore how the design of this civilization affected human evolution. Humans are the proof that the planet is thinking and the planet is a, an alive being, living being that has its own organs, its own blood, and we are just the neurons of the sympathetic system, of the neurological system. So what we are just doing is to be aware of who we are, but why we ask who we are and we seek the questions is because the Earth is trying to reach that question and that answer. So this, this world is like if we try to see a human body, but in a round shape. So every continent and every region of the planet would be related to one of the organs of our bodies, to our bones, to our blood. And we can try to imagine it or to figure it if we trace the main line of the body in the Atlantic Ocean. Imagine the Atlantic Ocean from the front and you will have the breathing nose in the island of Greenland. This is what makes the spirit to control the weather by the breath of hot and cold air. And then you have by the side the pineal gland, which is Iceland. From there, you can find the whole chest of the body in the North Atlantic Ocean. And by the sides, the two lungs in the Congo forest and the rainforest of Amazonia. The throat chakra of the planet would be North America and the vocal cords would be the Appalachian Mountains and all the East Coast. This means that whatever happens in that region would reach the whole world because it's the world, the language to connect everything. In the left side of the world, we have Europe, and Europe will be the heart, with Great Britain being the high heart chakra. Africa, South of Africa, and all the plateau that includes the three Great Lakes and Somalia, Ethiopia, until Tanzania, will be all the region of the root chakra. The root chakra will connect with the origin and the strength to the roots of the planet that also connects with South America through two lines that connects in the middle with the womb of the planet, the region that now it's, it's called Tristan da Cunha, and it's the core of the creation where Pangaea was connected in the south. Connected to the root chakra, Patagonia means the end of the spine of the planet, so the energy of South America, the region of Patagonia, with the region of Drakenberg in Africa are both connected to the roots and the origin to the core of the planet. The region of Middle East, India, will be one of the kidneys. And also, of course, the adrenal glands. That means that this region would be one of the most powerful regions to clean the blood, to create the blood, and also to be the energy to create everything, to purify the blood, the water of the planet, 
So that's why it's one of the biggest portals through where all the energy to create comes. The other kidney, it is the region of Australia and New Zealand. This region is also a creationist region connected to the Mu civilization. Asia would mean the sacrum chakra, so the plexus. This means that China, Taklamakan Desert, Gobi Desert, Mongolia, Tibet, Japan represents the stomach, represents the region where the, all the process of the being is done. All the water in the planet would represent the blood. Every river, every lake, every sea, every ocean would represent all the registry of the blood. And the most important part of the planet is the one connecting the whole body, the spine that connects all the neurological system of the planet, which would go from the Andes in South America to Central America and through North America, the Rocky Mountains in Alaska, to reach the brain of the planet, which is the North Pole. All the conscious planets of the Confederation used to be in the fourth dimension. So they were connected through the time. They came to this planet many times in many different parts of history. So that's why there were a lot of tests and a lot of proofs. So we could reach the better race or species to live here on this planet. And one of the last tests to do that, it was 200,000 years ago, uh, approximately, when Alithir came here. In Atlantean times, we used to call them the Alithir, but now you may know them as the Mu. Mu people came here to see if it was possible for beings from other planets to live in this planet, to see if the immunological system of the Earth wouldn't kill them. They were first trying to attach and to be recognized to this planet. And around 50,000 years ago, the people from Mu settled a civilization by itself. The Mu civilization came here because of the water. They came here because of the portals of the Pacific Ocean. And they reached this portal through the energetic path that the moon has left in the biggest crater of the planet, which is at the Pacific Ocean. In between that region, the islands of the Pacific were the places where it was better to connect with the oceans and the water. So the purpose was to be a bridge in between heaven and earth to relate the information from other levels of consciousness to this world through the oceans, which are the blood of the planet. All the water of the planet is the, the recordings, the DNA, the main cells of this planet. So all the information that came from the stars first reached the seas and the water put that information in the blood of the planet. So every species, every plant, every animal could have that information within. Since the very beginning of the creation of life in this planet, water was the key to hold that information. And that's why the people from Mu tried to build a civilization bounded to the water. The Mu civilization start to spread all over the coasts and islands of the Pacific, but also reached in thousands of years the deserts of North America, South America, and Asia. But also, they were the ones that were taking care of the most important humans created on Earth, which were the original people from Australia. For Moon people, who were for thousands of years trying to understand humanity, they understood that 
those who are rooted to the planet and that understood the power of the stars are the most important beings in the planet to hold information and to vibrate with them. Vibration, frequency, is the language to transform realities. One of the main things that they gave to us as humanity was the gift to remember that we are from this planet and that even if our part of our blood of our DNA comes from heaven, we should never forget that the divine is living here. So that's why one of the most important things that we can have from them and we inherit from them was taking care of this planet, of the water of this planet, and to hold this information on transform in this planet. Atlanteans used to know too that in order to have the power of God and the goddess, you have to become the God and the goddess. And the way you should do that is becoming every part of the God and the goddess. And the way you do that is if you want to talk with the storm, you have to become the storm. If you want to have the wisdom of a tree, you have to become the tree. So they taught humans how to become and channel the information through their blood, through the, the vibration, resonating with the divine. So that's why the ancient shamans were able to be nature, and that's why they were able to talk with the world.